Hello everyone, my name is Jajaj Patel and you are watching Jajaj Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 56 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully designed the course edit section. I'm going to show you course edit.php. So we simply designed this section from here. Okay. So now let's clear the history from here. Now let's see. So you can see that the output is completely coming from here very perfectly. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on the user profile page. So we are going to design the user profile from here. So without wasting of time, let's get start. So here, I'm going to open my index.php section from here. Index.php. And here, now what I'm going to do here simply control A, control C, control N for new page. It's like the PHP. Control A, Control V, Control S for save that page. I'm going to save this page from my desktop and then my where is my www folder? Yeah, here it is. Then my YouTube and then e-learning and here user.php. Okay, so I'm going to save this page with a user.php. So I'm going to save this one with the profile. Profile, okay. So now what we are going to do here, just come back again from here and say user dot php, okay. So the page is available from here. So now what we are going to do here, it doesn't need these all things from here. So we are going to remove that one from here into the wrap. We are going to create a one div with the ID equal to user L, which means user lab section. And we are going to create a one another ID from here with the name user R, which means user right section. Okay. So now I'm going to the style.css from here. And inside that CSS. I'm going to down and then here I'm going to create a one user L section from here. So what you are going to do simply here, just copy this C edit L section from here and paste that one from here. Also copy C edit R section from here and paste that section from here change the name with the user l and with the user r okay let's see the output so you can see that the output is perfectly coming from here as we have here so we are going to try to design this section from here so first of all we need the image from here so how can you do that so simply come back again to the user dot php section in here we are going to create one image src we are going to browse that image and here imgs and here we are going to create one another uh, another folder with the control plus shift plus n with the name users okay we are going to save this from the user and i have one image of the user so i'm going to paste the image from here so you can see that the image is coming from here okay and then close that one now let's get to the output so you can see that the output is coming from here now we are to design that one from here so i can design that one so user l have some image then its width will be uh, something like 100% and its height will be 180 pixel okay let's see the output Refresh it so you can see that 
now we need to decrease the high weight of that uh, image 90 percent let's refresh so you can see that we also need to decrease the height with the 50 pixel so you can see that i think the height is perfect but we need to decrease the weight of that image okay so you can see that now we need to center that image so simply we do two things from here we directly go into the center and then let's cut it from here and paste it into the center tag okay let's refresh and check so you can see that the image is now into the center okay but now we are going to do one thing here onto the image from margin from top we need two percent from right we doesn't need any two percent from the bottom we need two percent from the left side we doesn't need any padding okay i think this is too small so let's say with uh, two percent four percent okay let's refresh i think four percent is not too much five percent okay let's say says six percent and then six percent okay let's refresh it okay now what we are going to do here we said eight percent from the top so now this one is perfect now we need one more thing from here we said the border radius 100 pixel okay oh no 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 not 100 pixel we said 100 percent okay let's refresh it so you can see that the output is coming here just as we have here but the height and width is too big from here so we said 60 percent of height and 100 percent of oh sorry 60 percent of width and 100 percent of height so you can see that i think now we need to decrease the uh, we need to increase the width refresh it 40 pixel refresh it now it's looking very good and perfect now we need to set the one shadow around the all side so we set the box shadow uh, 0 pixel 0 pixel 10 pixel has 0 0 0 ok let's see the output refresh it so you can see that the shadow is coming perfectly from here what we said let's say triple c shadow refresh it so you can see that now let's say with the 2e 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 let's going with that one so you can see that the shadow is coming from here as we have here let's sign it again just because we clear the history okay the shadow is coming from here triple c shadow let's say triple five refresh so zero pixel again and then let's check out with that one so you can see that triple c okay let's remove that one and refresh it with that one okay as we have here we have a shadow here and we also have a shadow from here but we need to margin top from the here let's say 16 percent refresh it so you can see that now it's looking very good and now we need to create this uh, profile tag from here so i can do that so simply again going to the user.php from here and here i'm going to create one h1 tag and say profile okay let's come back again from here into the style.css and here we are going to create the h1 tag from here and say the background will be has fff and its color will be has 3f5 to 67 and then its uh, width will be 100 percent and its height will be 35 pixel and its uh, font size will be 16 pixel 
and then mm, <laughs> let's say let's see the output what we have here so you can see that the output is coming from here and say the line line height will be 35 pixel and it's text align will be the center that's impression check so you can see that the output is coming from here now we do one more thing from here width will be uh, 96 percent and now let's set the margin from all sides from the top it doesn't need any margin from right uh, two percent from bottom zero percent and from the left two percent okay let's refresh it again so you can see that the said uh, border is coming so let's say 90 percent from here five percent from here five percent from here okay let's refresh it again so you can see that now um, i think 985 let's see let's say with the 86 so here the seven and here also a seven okay let's refresh it again so you can see that now let's uh, radius this that one so how can we radius that one so we set a border radius 15 pixel let's refresh it again from here so you can see that as we have here we also have a here okay but from the top side we need uh, some margin from the top side so we say the five percent from top side so you can see that uh, let's say 10% from top side refresh it so you can see that now the output is perfectly coming from here and now uh, we need to create these links from here so how can we do that so simply let's come back again to the user.php and here we are going to create our ul tag inside that ul we need the li and inside that li we need the href tag okay and now we are going to get the one icon from here where is the icons yeah here is the available icon so we are going to copy that icon from here paste that icon from here and what's the name of that my account okay so i'm going to set the my account okay let's copy this one from here Control C, paste it, and then paste it. Okay, let's see what we have next. Change password. Change password, and then my courses. Okay, so my courses. Okay, let's refresh it again and see the output. So you can see that the output is coming here, but not in the perfect way. So we are going to design that output so user underscore l have some ul tag then it's list style type will be none okay let's design the li of that ul li so it's width will be 100 percent and it's height will be mm, something like uh, 30 pixel and it's uh, let's say next one with the a tag so it's text decoration will be none and its color will be has fff and its uh, font size will be 14 pixel let's refresh and check so you can see that the output is coming perfectly from here but i think Mm, we need to set the ul padding from here padding from all side five percent and let's see with the five side so we need to set the box sizing border box property from here so let's refresh and check so you can see that five percent padding is coming but uh, i think five percent from the right five percent from the bottom and five percent from the left okay so let's say 10% from the left and 10% from the right. So you can see that now we have a perfect output as we have here. But 
we need to do something more from here we need to decrease the li high uh, yeah height 50 pixel and then it's uh, line height line height will be 50 pixel also okay let's refresh and check it again so you can see that why i think 50 percent is too much 40 pixel here is also 40 pixel refresh it now the output something like this one we have here now we are going to design the i tag inside the a tag from here i tag so we are going to define the width of that i tag is uh, 10 pixel let's see what happened with the 10 pixel so you can see that 10 pixel is too small we need to define at least 20 pixel okay let's refresh and check so now i think uh, this one is perfect now what happened when someone hover on that one so let's say when someone hover on that one then it's uh, text decoration will be underlined okay let's refresh and check it so you can see that the text decoration will be underlined perfectly as we have here you can see that okay so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel just because when i upload the new videos then you can get a direct notification into your inbox so guys thanks a lot for watching we will meet you in next tutorial stay connected with me stay tuned thanks a lot for watching goodbye